to effectsapps.com. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to show you how we can add several places onto an app. We have an all new feature that I want to share with you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to effectsapps.com. We're going to log in and we're going to go ahead and hit this pencil. And this is always going to let us in to edit that particular app. So now that we're in the app, let's go ahead and go to features because this place is, is a new feature that we have. So in here, what we're looking for is a feature called places. As you can see it's right here. And if for some reason you can't find a feature, you can simply search it in this area. So let's go ahead and click on places. That feature is now added to the app. If your app was published before July 2019, this feature will not be functional in your app right away. Your app will need to be republished. With this feature, we're going to be adding several locations inside of one button. So we've already added the feature and our first button here says add a place. So we're going to go ahead and hit the plus button. Now, one of the most important things in this plus button is going to be your title, your subtitle and the address. The address is extremely important. This app is going to be an app with several car washes in the area listed all in one app. So we're going to put that there. We can put a subtitle that they are mobile and we're going to go ahead and click here. We're going to say yes to display the title in the page. Then it says display subtitle. We're going to go ahead and hit yes. Now under that, it says display illustration in page. We're going to hit yes. And then we're going to go ahead and upload an illustration. Now when it comes to, so I do have the logo of the company here in my computer. Here it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that. As you can see, it's not fitting appropriately, right? So what I can do is, so let's go ahead and crop that image so that it actually fits on the platform. So we'll start by going to Photoshop. In Photoshop, we are going to create a new item. And as you can see here, it's giving me the width and the height. And I can do it by inches, centimeters, or by pixels. So on effectsapps.com, you'll see a lot of where we can upload images it'll give you the exact size, the best size to, in order to put that image. Now, this is going to be important because people normally identify a company by their logo. So we're going to make this one 700 width and 440 in height. So let's go ahead and put that in here. 700 and 440. So now this is the perfect size for that image. I do have the logo saved here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that logo inside of Photoshop. Now that the logo has been placed there, this is going to work perfectly for the app. So I'm going to go ahead and hit file and save as. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to make it a JPEG file. And this is the illustration. So I'm just going to use that word illustration so that I don't lose track of. I'm going to search my computer. I'm going to go to desktop. And there goes my illustration. So now when I upload it, as you see, it crops perfectly to fit into the app. We can do the same thing for the thumbnail. And it is really, we really should do the same thing for the thumbnail because as it shows up on the map and as it shows up in the list, view of the app you'll be able to see the logo and be able to choose it by the logo not just by the name so let's go ahead and go back to photoshop we're going to go ahead and create a new project and this is saying for the thumbnail let's make it 256 by 256 so we'll go ahead and do that by two foot And there you go. So then I'm going to go ahead and drop the logo in there. And there you go. I can resize it a little bit. And there you go. 
So this is going to be our thumbnail. And I'm going to make the JPEG. And done. And save. Go back to effectsapps.com. And I'm going to see that it's on my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Now the next thing is I can add a pin. Now what's going to happen is okay there you go the thumbnails being uploaded and okay the next thing is a pin so what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up we're gonna add about uh, right now we're gonna add two different locations and this is gonna be on a map view and you will be able to see different pins on a map but we can actually add the logo to it now I do know that because this pin is 128 by 128 it does it is a square so this thumbnail will actually work for it because it's size as the uh, just a smaller version of it now you can add tags and this is going to help once you've add many different locations this is going to help to add tags because your it will make it easier for people to search you can also add categories okay so now one of the most important things when using the places tool it's really about maps and it's really about finding the location of something the most important part here is going to be the address so let's go ahead and put the address in and as you can see here it's founded here in Townsend Maryland and then we'll put the name so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it from here. And then there is a phone number associated with the address. And we can actually display the address, the location button, and the phone number. Now, in this section, it reminds us of the custom page section. We can add any of these here these are all different sections that allow us to add maybe images of what they do a video of it so now what I'm gonna do is add a video so I'm gonna click on video it's gonna add this here I'm gonna click on the button YouTube and I'm gonna add the URL to that video I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab when I hit tab it's gonna search for it and I can pick my or it's actually pulling up several different videos so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and this way I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and this way when people are when people do find this on a map they'll be able to watch a video of exactly how the car wash is done at that location let's go back there as you can see we have a list here one has an image and the other one just has a pin so if we have the logo let's go back we can always go back to one and edit it by hitting the blue pencil so let's go, I'm going to go ahead and click application and hit features. This is really important when you're working on an app. This is going to save your progress. So this button is down here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here goes our places button. So there you go. It's giving us a list view here. This is what it looks like. And also, if I tap this on a map, it'll go to a map. This one is listed by the pin because I didn't give a photo to it, but this one is being listed by the actual logo. So once I find that location, I can tap on it and it'll bring up the details right within the map. And I can easily go ahead. It's not gonna allow me to do it right from the platform, but it will let you do it from the EFX app and from your app when it is published. Then if I wanted to look at a list view, I could do that as well. And once you have tons and tons of dealerships listed here, let's say there are 100, I could easily go through and begin searching. And that's why your tags are going to be important because then we can grab them by their tags. So that's how you would add different places all into one button on your app.